Hello and welcome to another update video about Blocktopia. Blocktopia does not stop to pump and Blocktopia reached my next target level, didn't really even feel it. It just marched through and it's just going to another, having another great weekend of pumping as it seems. And I don't think this is only pump and dump. This is something huge. I mentioned it in previous videos. I made you aware about that project when we were at around three and a half cents. And um, yeah, obviously I didn't give you any recommendation for purchasing or not, but I told you what I did and I told you that I think this will be huge. Um, and as always, this is no financial advice, but this is obviously getting hyped a little bit at the moment, but there are a lot of fundamentals behind this project as well, which make it so interesting and which actually make you uh, or make people really, really interested in that project. And I mean, first of all, uh, let's just remind ourselves where we are. I mean, they basically, what, what we need to understand every few days now, um, they are basically putting out some bits of news, like, um, you know, just some bones for the dogs, you know, as it seems. And every few days, strategically, they are announcing new partnerships uh, with the most recent one, which was yesterday, which was, which led to a 50% pump, was that they are now partnering with CoinMarketCap. These guys obviously will have a virtual store on the, well, in that uh, metaverse. Um, but before that, you know, we had Avalanche, we had Elrond. Uh, there are lots of other ones as well. Travala, Travala, by the way, they are currently having a giveaway um, where they will give away a 19,000 US dollar NFT. That's still running, as I understand. Uh, I need to look further into it, but you might want to do that as well. They said the winner will be announced on November the 15th. To be in the draw, you must be a Smart 5 member that day. Now, Smart 5, I think that's related to their bonus program. You might want to have a look at the Travala, um, Travala Twitter account or Travala website. Um, Travala, by the way, they, they will have their virtual um, office where you can basically book your holidays probably. Um, so that is very interesting. Also, um, yeah, we mentioned already Avalanche. Then they say their own store here where you will be able to buy actually block tokens in the sort of in the metaverse. It's not really a game anymore. It's actually a metaverse, a virtual reality, obviously getting pumped now by the meta plans of Facebook. So that's something else. As a result, I think all of the gaming tokens and coins went really well yesterday. And VR tokens like uh, the other one was Decentraland, uh, Mana that did really well. Um, but there you go. I mean, it is it is going. They already have a staking program. You can see how many block are staked. The thing is though, that is closed at the moment because it's still so early days. They say they will keep an eye on um, Telegram when they will open more pools and they will also give away a Lamborghini in the, uh, in the, in the game or in the metaverse, so a, a real world one, as I understand. And um, yeah, what I wanted to um, talk about before we take a look at the price, actually I just want to show you, you this here, which is that the pricing for the floor plan. So obviously they have a, a beta phase running where people can actually already sign up and, and buy land. I think they only, um, people had to sign up. I think they had over 11,000 applicants and they chose only 50. My view is, and I don't know enough about it. My view is they probably chose the 50 most significant ones and probably among them, I don't know if that was the case, probably among them you had the likes of Travala and maybe you had the likes of, um, Elrond Avalanche. Now, I don't know. Or if they proactively went to them, I have no idea, but certainly they will own here their, their own shops and their own um, stores. But obviously you've got that 21 level skyscraper they've got planned and where they're currently working on equipping these shops. That's what they said. And if you just take a look here at the, at the price, I mean, this is the first floor and this is probably also the most expensive one. Um, where they've got these squares that you can actually buy. And here you can actually see the prices. I mean, if you want to get something like a small square here on the first floor, I mean, you need to have at least, I mean, the lowest price is like 600, no, 40, 180,000 block. I mean, that is quite a bit um, for 80. You're, you're a lucky person if you now own 480,000 block. Um, that is quite a bit of money with the highest prices going up to one, is it 1. No, 1.3 million block? Um, yeah, I think 3 million block is the most important, the most expensive one here in the central. I mean, to be honest, the likes of you and me probably won't be able to get hold of one of these anyway. Um, but if people want to buy, it won't be cheap. It won't be cheap. I can tell you that straight away, which is if you really want to get big in that uh, metaverse, you might want to get at least, uh, whatever, hundred thousand block or whatever. Um, sorry, did I say hundred thousand, hundred, uh, did I say hundred million? No. What did I say? 
yeah, hundred. No, you want to get at least a million block, probably. I would say, um, if you want to be, be. Um, so I haven't actually had a look uh, through all of this here before, um, but there you go. Yeah, sixteen million. No, I think it's getting even more expensive the higher you go. Looks like you've got twenty-two million block here. Um, the price of twenty-two million block in the higher you go here in the twenty twenty floor, seventh floor. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you will find something that's cheaper than like. Uh, here's 240,000 blocks. So yeah, you might get something, let's call it sort of affordable, but to be honest with the current prices going up that fast, it won't stay like that forever. And, and I asked myself yesterday, you know, do, and I bought yesterday more. I asked myself, do, do you really want to buy at these prices? And we were at like um, eight cents. And I was like, you know, it's pumped so much. Do I really believe this will go down? And even if it goes down, will it stay down? And I said, no. So that's why I bought more yesterday after my video that I um, that I made, and I told you I wouldn't advise to go in um, where we had already made the fifty percent at nearly. We were I mean we came up to nine and a half cents yesterday, but then we retraced, and these are always the moments that I'm looking for. So <clears throat> um, I bought at uh, more at eight cents yesterday, but to be honest, th this is probably just going to go up, and um, there will be phases of retracements, but it's just pumping. And to be honest, they haven't announced any partnership with Binance, for example, or the major exchanges. Already Qcoin is part of it. I'm sure the other ones will follow. I think people won't, and these organizations and uh, exchanges, they don't want to miss out. I think there will be more partnerships announced anyway. And with every partnership, that's what we've seen so far, the price has pumped. So yeah, I won't give you any more recommendations about going in, or, and I can't anyway, and I'm not allowed to, and I, I don't want to, because that's everybody's own decision. I mean, it's still a small project, and there is high risk, as with every small project, as with crypto in general. Um, but for me, currently, and still at these prices, the opportunities outweigh the risk, yeah? And consider that the art season is still coming, and also, I think gaming, the more, I mean, even gaming next year and, and whatever, there is a potential that gaming will outperform um, and these metaverses, they will outperform, for example, DeFi and, and other um, projects, in, in my opinion. Yeah, so currently, I mean, we, we are just going through these FIP levels here. The, the, the last one I had was the 1.618, which was uh, 11, no, yeah, 11 cents. Next one I've got on here is the 200%, which is 13 and a half cents. And after that is 2.618, 17 and a half cents. But to be honest, we don't really feel them anyway. Um, we had that psychological mark here of, of pretty much 10 cents through which we went um, overnight here, UK time. We just uh, had this horizontal here just before we really went through. And it was possibly to observe, possible to observe. I posted it also on Twitter and I posted it on um, in the private Discord and Telegram channel that we had this ascending triangle here forming. Um, until here, until that uh, point, uh, yeah, 9.5 cent level, after which we just pumped, had a little bit of a, a sideways move here on the 15 minute chart, and then we pumped again and we just managed to get, we actually had a bit of retracement at the 11 cent level, where I just, um, just told you, but then we've broken that as well. And uh, again, that it is the earlier, I mean, the earlier you get in there, if you really want to get into the project, in my view, the earlier, the better probably, but again, don't take that as financial advice. It's only my opinion, um, because you know, as soon as they will talk with buy, um, they will talk about Coinbase, Binance. You know, you you will, you won't probably see these prices again, and that's not guaranteed as always. But it's huge, and the higher we climb, obviously, the more risky it gets, um, especially after these pumps. But obviously. You know, they, they, as I said, they haven't talked or they haven't announced anything with Binance or Coinbase yet. And as soon as they do, and I don't know if they will, you know, I don't know if they will, but I guess, you know, if, if they've got KuCoin, they've got Travala, they've got other exchanges coming on. So there's a pressure on Binance and Coinbase as well, as I guess, um, that they at some point need to, need to, maybe they already have contact with them. You see, I don't know. But um, yeah, a lot of potential. And I uh, just want to give you an update here that this has really played out um, for anybody who watched my first video and decided to get in when we were at around three and a half cents. I mean, that's now a seven, three X, yeah? Maybe we're getting a four X on the weekend. So yeah, hopefully you liked that video. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you wanna follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.